Hello, hello, beautiful Pisces, Aries, Cusp, and or Cross Watchers. How are you all? Welcome to my channel. I am Kierka Love. How are you all doing? All right, y'all. So we are going to take a look into your love connection for the month of November. Okay. Please know that these will be general messages. I do offer personal private reads. If you are interested, just check the description box below. Um... Look for my email address. I do have it listed, okay? Send me an email. All right, if you all are active on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, and you would like to check me out on my other social media platforms, feel free to just go down to that description box below. I do have the links listed, okay? Again, Pisces, Aries, Cusp, and or Crosswatchers. If you are new here, again, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, commenting, um, liking the video, or thumbs down whatever the case may be um but i really hope you're going to find some messages here that will be helpful if you are returning beautiful thank you all so much to everyone who has previously liked subscribed shared commented or even just watched i greatly appreciate it okay all right so pisces aries cuss and love for the month of november okay so i'm um, starting out in the situation it's like you feel like you're owed an apology here this could be a situation where you could be going in with some type of apology. Maybe you're trying to make things right here, okay? But I do see this genuine apology possibly coming from somebody where you feel like they were not being honest, Pisces, Aries, Cusp here, okay? I feel like in this in this situation, you do... Um, you possibly feel like you're dealing with your twin flame or you feel like this is a soul connection here okay pisces aries cuss but your challenge would be fears so fears is kind of blocking this connection it's either you or this person that is scared to take a leap of faith here but you could be losing sleep over this person in this situation okay i do feel like you're dealing with someone who's very charming here this person tell you exactly what you want to hear this person can talk their way out of trouble and you do know that this person that you're dealing with is kind of regretting their actions here okay so this person is feeling guilty either for cheating or for hurting you but they deeply regret their actions let's look at the near future or what's to come here okay i do see pisces aries cusp that either you or this person is going to be making um wow oh my god some sacrifices here okay I feel like um, you and this person is going to be making some sacrifices here. It could be a situation where I hope that hopefully you're not sacrificing too much and you're giving up on your true desires. Um, but this could be a situation where this person is saying that they are willing to sacrifice some things for love for this connection. Okay. Let's look at your internal. What's influencing you internally? I feel like Pisces Aries because you are really... Um, I feel like you have kind of had enough here, okay? You either playing hard to get or you're not settling for anything less than an apology and this person trying to do um, what is right to make you happy, okay? Your external influence here. This is a person where you feel like um, you two are supposed to be together. I feel like um, you two have been through a lot. You have this everlasting love here. So, for this person, okay? What is your hopes and or fears here? For some of you all, you could have met this person online. For others of you all, um, there is some suspicious online activity. Possibly you are opening yourself up to meet someone new for some of you all. Um, so, you could be fearing uh, meeting the wrong person online or hoping to meet the right person online here okay but either way it go it looks like that um you just hope that whoever you're dealing with this person is not gaslighting you um but it kind of feel like you're dealing with someone that has a little bit of issues and they're not ready to talk about it here okay let's look at towards the latter part of the month of november you have this sexually hooked here so there is an intense sexual chemistry between you and this person and i do see a lot of frequent sexual encounters okay so it's almost like you two are physically connecting 
Uh, but we have to make sure we're connecting on other levels here. Okay. Let's look more into the apology. All right. So I feel like with this apology, somebody is apologizing because they do want things to grow here with you. Okay. But you kind of feel like uh, maybe you're hanging on to whatever this person have done, which is causing some suffering. It's causing you emotionally um, to feel like you're lacking a bit here. Okay. Let's look more into the fears here. So I feel like, I mean, the challenge. The challenge would be uh, something unexpected. We do have like a tower moment. So the foundation that you are building upon possibly have come down here or... Um, it's like a divine intervention here, okay? All right, so let's look at the smooth talker. I feel like in the recent past, this person was telling you that they did want a solid foundation with you. This person was maybe expressing that um, they do want structure of some sort, okay? What is, uh, what is this regret here, okay? I feel like... Um, what you do know about this situation is that this person is not telling you everything here uh, but we do deeply we you or your person is deeply regretting their actions here okay we have regret twice okay so what you know is that um we're deeply regretting our actions, but we're not talking about it, okay? Let's look more into the sacrifice here. All right, so I feel like in the, it's like in, with like two weeks within the month of November, I feel like you're going to be guarded here. Um, either you're going to be afraid to be vulnerable here. So when it comes to the sacrifice, I feel like um, you're going to maybe shut some things off within yourself because you, you could possibly be realizing that um, you're giving up on your true desires or you don't want to give up on your true desires here okay you are could be afraid to be vulnerable here all right internally i feel like that if this person do not change here if this person do not offer you what you feel you deserve you're going to pack your bags and leave here i feel like you're going to have the courage to change here your external influence would be uh, activating of your higher self so your higher self being activated in this situation here okay but i do see some distance between you and this person here okay uh, when it comes to your hopes and or fears here, you are fearing rejection, uh, but I feel like you're hoping to kind of put the pieces back together, all right? Let's look at this sexually hooked. Towards the latter part of the month of November, I do see an offer coming in, possibly from a Taurus or a Libra, or just a love offer, okay, um, coming in. All right, let's see. What is this person feeling towards you? I got to go get all them cards up. They just flew. What is this person feeling towards Pisces, Aries, Cusp? All right, Pisces, Aries, Cusp. This person thinks that this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them, you are too perfect to believe it's true here. They do see you as very mysterious. It's the mystery of you that intrigues this person here. There will be something unexpected. The answers you are seeking for are coming. But when the answers arrive, Pisces or Aries, because will it be too late? Would you uh, be the moved on here from this person? All right, let's get some advice. Advice. The connection, this connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond here. Um, you can't be afraid to take this leap of faith. So you have to take this leap of faith. I do see for some of you all a reconciliation. So somebody could be coming back in from the past here at Pisces Aries Cusp. Um, but you already know the answers you seek. So use your intuition. Okay. All right, y'all. So that is your read for the month of November. I really hope it will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you all for your likes, subscribe, shares, comments. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you beautiful people next time. Bye.